What's up, big timers? Welcome to another peg hunting video. We are at Walmart today. I apologize if it's a little bit windy in the video. It's pretty windy outside today, but we're walking into a Walmart super center in Canada where I live. And this one is kind of a hit or miss. Sometimes we get good stuff at this Walmart and sometimes there's just nothing on it. So it's a Tuesday and I'm hoping the pegs are stocked. They usually stock the pegs on like Monday night or Tuesdays. So let's go on inside and see what All we can right, find. And we're inside and the anticipation when you walk up to an aisle that has Hot Wheels, you're always hoping something exciting is there. And as we walk up to it, it looks like uh, we've got a couple of rows of things that are fairly stocked and stacked. So there's uh, there is some empty pegs, but uh, let's start on over at the Matchbox cars. And we've got this Mercedes SLR McLaren. I actually have one of those already, but I think I might grab another one. Who knows? Let's see. We'll put it down for a second got the Matchbox Globe Travelers set and let's see what we got what is this this thing is weird some sort of like land and water cruiser I don't know anyways back to the Matchbox land cruise or the Globe Travelers we've got the 4 GT we've got the Lamborghini I already have this one but it's just such a nice looking car I have to pick it up every time I see it let's see what else we can find in here yeah uh, there's got to be something else interesting the matchbox cars are pretty stocked up here oh we've got another slr mclaren uh, i don't know i might grab that one too we'll see put that down for a sec let's see what else we have in here and let's see we've got standard matchbox things oh this is interesting what is this look at that it's got like a canoe on the top of it that's cool 59 chevy wagon hmm might get that too oh what is this We've got a car that is flipped upside down. This is a very rare air. I'll have to put that down for a second. And oh, this is pretty cool. Some sort of tractor thing. I don't know what that is. Uh, we've got, oh, the BMW looks like an M1. Yeah, M1. Put that down for a second here. Let's see what else we can find in here. If there's anything else interesting. Uh, what is this? Uh, Volvo wagon. Nothing too special. Let's see what else is behind here. Another one of those wagons. Uh, let's see. And what is this down here? This is a Batman Justice League five car set. Let's see what other pieces of sets we can get. We've got this truck set by Matchbox. I'm normally not a big Matchbox collector, but they're coming out with a lot more interesting things. There's a lot more five packs and stuff from Matchbox that are a lot more interesting. So we'll always have a look through. You never know what you can find from Matchbox. I don't think I'm gonna pick up this truck set, even though it looks kind of interesting, but let's see what else they have here. There's a lot of like work vehicle sets and stuff that they come out with. All right, onto the Hot Wheels. And we've got lots of three and five packs. Oh, here we go. We've got the car meet five pack. So this is a new one. Um, I did pick this one up in my previous vlog. So I'll leave it here for someone else to grab. We'll have a look through. I'm still looking for that Hot Wheels Exotics five pack. Let's see what else is in here. Uh, lots of different ones. Hot Wheels City pack. A B Street B. So oh, sorry about the camera there. And let's see what else we have in here. Anything else? Uh, hard to see. Oh, I think there's something back here. Let's see what this is. It's the Hot Wheels Horsepower Five Pack. Got that one already. It's an interesting one though. Uh, let's see if there's got to be something else in here that's exciting here. More of these fantasy cars. More of the Street Beasts in here. Anything else? No, no Hot Wheels Exotics five pack. We'll pick this one up that I dropped here. We'll throw it back down. I'll put those back up in a second here. We'll just have another quick look through. Oh, we've got lots of different three packs. Check these out. Tons of three packs in here. This looks like a fully stocked shelf of three packs. That Volkswagen Golf is really nice. I think I already have that Golf and it was uh, fast down my track, but we'll leave it here for now. Let's see if there's any other ones. Lots of the ones with the Golfs in there. There's got to be some other interesting ones. What is this one here? Uh, some sort of F1 car. And oh, this one. Oh, what is this? This one has an NSX in it. There we go. Nice. Check out that black NSX with the gold highlights on there. Might have to pick that one up. Let's uh, have a look and see what else do we have in here. More of the Golf R. And there's got to be some more interesting ones here. There's a few online I saw of uh, some interesting packs. This one's really nice. This one's got some nice Camaro in here. 
Uh, we'll put that one down. Maybe we might have to pick that one up too. I like that Camaro. More of the golfs. Uh, lots of the golfs. Uh, we'll have another look around. We'll kind of decide if we want to get that one with the Camaro or not. And let's see what else we can find in here. Any of the single cars any good? Single cars looks like they've been picked through quite a bit. So there doesn't seem to be a lot in here. This Tune C6 is kind of cool. Anything else in here? Nope. Some shorty cards. Shorty uh, super treasure hunts would be fun to find in store. Those ones are quite valuable and collectible. And uh, some mystery models here. This is mystery models 2. I'm not a big fan of the mystery models 2 set. Not as exciting as the first one. And let's see, got this 10 pack here, a single 10 pack. This one is a new one. It's got the new Tesla. It's got the Civic in it, the blue Civic. Um, I've already got a pack that has those. We've got the Hulk, She-Hulk pack. These are all a bunch of, uh, there's a five car set in this. Volkswagen T1 would be kind of cool to find. Custom Dodge, let's see if we can get the whole set. I might have to pick these up. It just seems like the anything that's JDM or Volkswagen, people seem to pick through and pick up. This one's really cool, though. I like that. That's kind of neat. Black Widow. There's the van. No, it doesn't look like that Volkswagen T1 is in here. Oh, this one's pretty neat. Quick Deliver. All right, we'll, we'll, put, we'll put those ones down for now. We've got this uh, classic 50th uh, sort of piece here. I know there's a lot of collectors collecting those. I'm not a big fan of them. Oh, we've got the Batman set here. Let's have a look through. I'm looking for the Lamborghini from the Batman set. Doesn't seem like I can find it anywhere. Let's see. No, this has definitely been picked through. People have picked up all those Lamborghinis. Uh, we've got Majorette cars. Majorette makes some pretty cool cars. I mean, but look at the price on them. $3.98 for a single car. I think that's just ridiculous. I mean, if they price those the same as Hot Wheels, I'd pick them up. We've got the Cargo Carrios Golf one. I've got that already. There just seems to be only the Golf ones. I'm still looking for a few of those. And I don't have the complete Camaro set either. I'm looking for the uh, first Camaro in that set. We've got lots of Fast and Furious cars. Uh, Cars 3, there's always interesting stuff from the Cars 3 cars. They're always coming out with new sets and stuff from Cars 3, so I always have a quick look. And we've got these M2 cars. M2 is coming out with some really neat detailed cars, and there's always these like limited edition pieces in here. It's always good to kind of look through and see if there's anything interesting. Oh, these are really cool. Check these out. These are like these trailer hitch ones. This is a big Dodge Ram with like this big carrier on there. It's even got these little pieces inside and this one too uh this one it looks like some chevy silverado with a big horse carrier these are really cool really interesting a little bit too expensive i think they're around 20 bucks for those we've got these pursuit m2 more cars in here let's see if we can find i always look around the corner sometimes at the back they always put cars so let's see, no, nothing this time, just some Lego bits and stuff like that. So we'll leave those ones for now. Let's, oh, check these out. Some more M2 cars. We've got Moon Eyes M2, $24.97 for these Moon Eye carriers. Man, these are so cool. But I mean, 25 bucks though, that's quite a bit. Check this one out. Even it's got the little car inside of it. I'm sure these are quite collectible. I should probably look them up um, if they're sort of any value or anything like that. But you know what? I'm not a big collector of these ones. So I'm going to leave them for another collector to pick up and they can enjoy them. So just heading back to the beginning of the aisle, I noticed that I did pass this Hot Wheels 50 bin. And just by looking inside, you can see it's almost completely empty. A little soccer ball in here, but we'll have a quick look through if there's anything that somebody had missed. Highly doubt it. There's not a lot in here. So yeah, it looks like we'll have to pass on that. We'll go check out some other stuff. It's always good to walk up and down the aisles of Walmart. You never know what you can find. And I found this display with Hot Wheels 50 on it. Looks like some Hot Wheels red liners here. I've already got that complete set. Let's see what else we have around here. Oh, look at uh, more three packs. We got a ton more three packs. We're gonna have to have a look through all of these and see if we can find anything. Another one with the Camaro. We've got the Lamborghini Yaris there. And let's see. Got a couple of cool cars in here, the Reynolds Sport in that one. 
Let's see what other three packs we can find. Oh, check out this Porsche. I love this orange Porsche. I think it's a, it's either a 911 GT2 or the old GT3. Yeah, there's a couple of different ones with this Porsche in there. I'll have to put those aside and kind of decide which ones I want to get. There's, uh, ooh, these are both really good. It's going to be a hard decision here. Let's see what else we got back here. There's another one with the Lamborghini Urus in there. We've got another one with this weird Camaro in there, more Porsche, and the Renault Sport Spider in there as well. We've got that one with the NSX. And let's see what else we have down here. Wow, there's so many good ones. Uh, I'm just gonna have to put these all aside and kind of decide which one I like the best. We'll come back around the front of this display and we've got couple of new sets this is uh, looks like a new track builder set hammer drop challenge kind of interesting let's see uh, anything else up here no and what is this Cobra crash this is a nice new set we've seen this one and this one's part of the Hot Wheels city set quite a few of them here doesn't I don't think I'll pick it up today all right guys we're back inside my car and let's go over all the stuff that I picked up today you guys saw the matchbox cars that I was looking at initially and I picked up several of them so I did pick up two of the Mercedes uh, McLaren SLRs uh, this is one of my favorite matchbox castings I have one of them already and I wanted to keep uh, a couple of them closed I might open another one as well so I bought two of those that we saw on the shelves really really nice detailed casting I really really enjoy this one so grab that one right away and the other one which I thought was kind of funky was this 59 Chevy wagon check out that canoe on the top of it that is interesting we might have to open this one up and I don't know let's I wonder if that canoe like pops off or something like that we'll have to open that up in a future video and the other one I got was a BMW M1 matchbox car as you can see right there kind of a unique like goldish color to it but uh, the M1 the BMWs are really really nice the M1 M2 M3 M4 M5 all of those ones are all awesome so can't pass that up and the other one we got you guys saw was an error car and it is a matchbox truck what is this a ford f-150 or 550 super duty but check it out upside down that is an air car interesting air car i don't see many matchbox air cars so had to pick that one up and we'll put that into my i have a small air collection not a huge one but we'll have to put that one in there and then i did pick up some three packs um so you guys saw all those three packs there was a they look like they just stocked the shelves of all those three packs so i was pretty lucky to get in there and find some first one we got was this one right here uh, specifically about it just because of that Lamborghini Urus. I don't know if I have this one already. I'm really not 100% sure. I didn't have a picture on my phone to go back and check as well to see if I have this one already. So I bought this one. Um, if I have it, whatever, then I've got an extra one. And also this uh, white Camaro is pretty interesting as well. I don't really think I have that one either. And then this is a uh, I'm not sure the exact it's a fantasy casting down there. So got that one right there. It might be muscle tone or something, possibly. I don't know. You guys might know. Uh, throw that one down. Uh, the next one I picked up was this one. And uh, I saw a different package with the NSX that I was going to get it originally. And then I saw one that had the Reynolds in there and the Reynolds Sport. So uh, I had to get that one. And then uh, this one is another fantasy casting. I can't remember the exact name of that one, but I thought that was cool. The NSX I might already have already, but you know what? I like this casting a lot. So we'll pick up another one. And last but not least, we've got this three pack and this one has the Porsche and that's a, it looks like a Porsche 911 GT2. And this one, I really like this casting. I have lots of different color variations of it. So I had to pick that one up. Then we got a fan, the same fantasy casting as the other one. And uh, this is some sort of hot rod type car, but obviously I specifically bought this one for that Porsche. So that's all I got. I mean, uh, there was the car meet five pack. There was the horsepower five pack. I already got those. I'm really, really looking for the Hot Wheels Exotic Spy Pack. I just want that McLaren F1. I might have to go back down to the US to find that one. It just doesn't seem like it's released in Canada yet. Although they have that horsepower and car meet five pack. And I do have a feeling that they released those in the same box, the, the Exotics uh, five pack. So I have a feeling somebody got to the Exotics five pack before me. Um, I'll have to keep checking back and maybe I can pick it up. What did I spend today though? I spent a total of $17.85 or 65 cents. Uh, so 17 bucks, not bad. I mean, the, the three packs are, what were the three packs? They're 357. The Matchbox cars were a dollar. So a dollar for the Matchbox cars is really good because in the US, 
US, you do pay like 94 cents to 99 cents in American dollars. So, <clears throat> so $1 in Canadian dollars is actually really good for the Matchbox cars in the store. And $3.57, not bad for that three pack. Um, I mean, you can get Hot Wheels for 94 cents in the US and then they work out to probably even more than that. So not a bad deal, not a bad price. I'm gonna go home and uh, I'll probably open up a few of these in a future video. So check out a future video. But in the meantime, thank you very much for watching this pet hunting video. We'll catch you on the next one, bye-bye. Thanks big timers for watching this video. Make sure you follow me on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. And don't forget to subscribe and throw this video a like. I'll catch you guys on the next video, bye-bye.